Have you ever wondered about the theory behind SWR? What is it and what causes it? Well, in simple terms, SWR or standing wave ratio is best understood as a way of checking how efficiently your radio signal is being transferred to your antenna. Think of it like pouring water through a pipe to water your garden. Ideally, all the water flows directly out onto your plants, doesn't it? But imagine a blockage or a kink in the pipe. Some water might be forced to bounce back towards the source. This is analogous to what occurs with radio waves if your SWR is high. A high SWR indicates that a portion of your radio signal is not being radiated by your antenna, but reflected back down the cable towards your radio. Wasted power. A low SWR is what we aim for, most signal getting out. But what are good SWR numbers? Ideally, you want to see one-to-one -one SWR. That's perfect, meaning no signal is reflected back. In most cases, an SWR below 1.5 to 1 is considered acceptable, with only about 4% of the power reflected. However, SWR of 2T1, meaning 11% reflected power, and above is generally considered unacceptable by most ham operators. In these cases, your antenna system really should be adjusted to achieve a lower SWR reading and minimize signal loss. SWR is a measure of system efficiency. Lower SWR equates to a more efficient signal transmission. It is therefore a key parameter to assess when setting up your antenna system, ensuring optimal performance and protecting your valuable transceiver. If you're keen to learn more about optimizing your antenna setup and signal transmission, do follow moonraceronline.com for further ham radio advice and insights.